Hey guys! Uh, so welcome to what is the last video that will ever be filmed in this house. It's my third time moving in less than a year and my 13th time in my whole life, so you could almost call me a traveller. This week I've decided to do a really, really crazy Q&A, and as always when I like to do a Q&A, Q&A's, wow. You guys always step up. First question, and many of them, comes from Tom Rich, who asks, has anybody seen the Lucas Aid or the Cuban Easter? I'll be honest, I haven't got a clue. I'm pretty sure that Lucas Aid is still at Mike's house. I was that drunk, I don't even remember what happened. This was my 25th birthday this year. I ended up launching a bottle of beer across the road at some child who thought he was uh, hard enough to start on me and then walked away. That, that was a fun birthday, guys. Yeah, you were great, all of you. Nice one for keeping an eye on me. Oh dear. Question two comes from Tom Rich. He asks, do trees sneeze in autumn? Or do they just suffer from bad hair loss? I think by the amount of different colours with the leaves, you can kind of tell that they suffer from really bad hair loss because they're just dyeing their hair all the time, it's just falling out. Jake Saunders asks a nice serious question because, you know, play along with Jake. What was your favourite moment of Tricorn Productions filming? For a nice normal answer, the greatest thing about it is obviously having a great time with all my friends, hanging with Jake, hanging with Mike, hanging with John, seeing Jamie and all those guys and uh, just creating something that a lot of people are going to watch. So I'll put the big episode down below because it's got like more than 15,000 views. For a silly answer, the greatest thing about it is I've got a badass death scene and I never play a serious character so... Prisoner 24601, how are you doing? See I should have done it like that. <laughs> Jake asks, if you had no way of backing out, what three foods would you, would you eat off my roads? Let's try and keep this hygienic and uh, PG, relatively. Crackers, you can't go wrong with crackers. I'd drink tea off him because then I could have it in a mug so it wouldn't actually touch him. Uh, let's just lick some chocolate off his nipple, it's fine. Next question. There's a couple here I really can't answer. <laughs> Tom Rich asks, Count Minion and Stone Minion, do you ship it? Yes, I do. Big's brother Nick asks, Would you rather have for brains or brains for quite clearly brains for because you can eat duck brains and they are called faggots and that's not a rude way of saying it. The old classic, how much wood would a woodcutter How much wood would a woodcutter cut if a woodcutter could cut there? How much wood Matt asks, how much wood would a woodcutter cut if a woodcutter could cut wood? In December. 25? No, you're asking for 69. Tom Rich asks, if a set contains all sets, does it contain Harambe? No. Although, cut to John's clip. This is for you, Harambe. You were taken from us too early. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> drinks out for Harambe. There is a greenhouse. Inside the greenhouse is a white house. Inside the white house, there is a red house. Inside the red house, there's lots of babies. What is it? That is Matt Hustlebury's sex life, in a nutshell. And finally, Hustle asks, if Godzilla got into a fight with Darth Vader, would the Daily Mail blame it on immigrants? Well, it's the Daily Mail, quite clearly. They'll blame it on Obama. That is the last video you get to see in this gorgeous, gorgeous house. Coming up in the next few weeks, bit of DIY, a little bit of a house tour maybe eventually and uh, just all around Chris is not that tall fails and funny stuff and boring stuff. If you watch this video I'm sure you agree. I'm Chris is not that tall, this is another video, I'll see you in another one very soon. Bye!